It's about really not never giving up. It's about really knowing your worth and and, and kind of sticking with it. You've got, got to stick with it and sacrifice. That's what a lot of it comes down to as well. My, my view of it is kind of um, successful. Like if I write a song that I'm really pleased with, um, that's kind of like success. And success is about being able to live comfortable within your own skin and you know happily within your own skin. Whether I'm a recording artist, whether I'm a road sweeper, if I wake up happy, I'm successful. Success is when you find happiness doing what you do every day. Definitely. Probably like like after I had my son, like recent, like the last three years, like I consciously thought, right, that's it, like that's that is my career, that's what I want to do. Before I was doing it and enjoying it, but I didn't ever feel like, yeah, this is it, like this is what I want to do. I was doing it because it happens and it was good and I was enjoying myself, but I don't know, I wasn't, I was waiting for it to stop or it was now I like work for it, if that makes any sense. I wouldn't even know exactly what rave, Sidewinder or Eskimo dance or whatever packed out venue it was, but it was when I was on stage and I've said a lyric that I've written, something I've written in my house, I've said it and everyone's gone mad and stopped the music, you know what I mean? A moment when I thought this was what I wanted to do, hmm, I've never really thought that. <gasps> it's a collection of things, I mean it was definitely like, the moment I did, I remember I used to do a late night radio show on Mission FM 90.6 and I remember when we got our first text in and that interaction with a listener and the excitement I had of playing a record that I loved to other people and I thought, you know what, I like doing this and I like discovering new music and, 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 and helping other people hear it and even not new music, just music that I love, whether it's old, uh, yeah, and just getting into it in that way. So yeah, um, how I got into MCing was basically just, like I said before, you know, it was just like a hobby just in the school playground, rapping for fun and, you know, just, just writing lyrics for the fun of it. Like, I started a long time ago, so everything that's happened now, you know, the vision wasn't quite there. It was just more about just being in the bedroom, doing tapes and, you know, doing little house parties. I got into DJing by uh, loving music, to be honest, and I used to collect CDs when I was in school. And I always took pride in having more CDs than anyone else said they had. From there, uh, people used to ask me to bring music to their parties and stuff. I did a couple of guest shows on Rinse with Wiley and that and um, used to do some other pirate radio things and then I ended up doing like a guest uh, mix thing on uh, One Extra with a DJ called Ras Kwame, big up Ras Kwame and um, yeah, ended up with a show. Yeah, if I'm being honest, um, it's always been a up and down, it's, it's never been a case of you get one part and then you just blow and you get that big check, it's never been there. So it's always up and down. I've always been a strong believer of when you, when you feel like giving up, that's when you work even harder. I think you have like moments where like you think, oh my god, like nothing's happening or something, and then literally like round the corner, like a big thing will happen, and that kind of like sparks it off again for you. So um, unique. I think it's this voice, man. It's it's the little squeaky, high pitch kind of, ah, you know, the ones. Um, people know. People can just define that it's me straight away when you hear me on a track. And also, I'm a bit crazy, man. I bring my personality on the track as well, so. I got an advantage because I was one of the first that started. So my signature is basically like, I'm like the hype guy, you know, I make those hype energy tunes. And yeah, man, I'm cool with that because I like going on stage and jumping up and down and crowd surfing and, you know, having a good time, having fun with it. I wouldn't say I had a firm mentor, like people have managers that take them through their whole career. There were definitely people, a lot of people around to learn from. There's a lot of people to take advantage and take, the same way that like today we've done a conference with, with all the artists, the same way there might be things we said that people can take from is the same way I had people around who I'd watch their actions in music and take. Like this. Mentor to guy, I suppose like um, my dad is really not really a mentor, but he's like someone that has a lot of faith in me and what I do. I've had a few. I, obviously, kind of Eric Roach playing wise was a massive influence um, on me, and it was he was head of guitar when I was at the SEM, and that kind of. That was that was massive. The funniest moment on Journey Success is when I was driving on the motorway, got triggered birth birthday bash in Birmingham, and was on the motorway, was on the M25, wet and trying to get onto M1. I was driving, it's not funny to some people, sorry, sorry if it's not funny to you, I'm sorry if it's not funny to you. Yeah. But I was driving and a rabbit ran into the motorway ahead of me. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, and I pressed my brakes, I swerved to the left lane and it ran out to the middle of the motorway. I was like, yes. 
Wham! It ran back in, splat, and I run over the rabbit, and I felt bad for the whole night. When you meet certain characters, isn't it? There's certain characters out there that will come up to you, and I think their swagger is just all over the place. Like, yo, blood, what are you? You're that guy, innit, fam? It looks like they want to rob you or something. They want to jack you, but really, they're just showing love. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, she's got pink wellies. Sorry. Um, sorry, I forgot the question, you know. <laughs> you know, I just came, my, my, my signature is just dolls and stuff. Of what? This being music. This is where I get banterish. I always get banterish for flavour. Didn't you know? It was just one of them things. I was just having fun in the playground. Don't know, Leisha. Sorry, I had to interrupt. I had to. Don't know. We had to start again. Don't know. Dench, dench, gang. <laughs>